Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery Pro Tips Series, produced and presented by Laura Newcomb, Christine Foley, and Nicole Dunellen from McGee Women's Hospital of UPMC, University of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The authors have no financial disclosures. Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery uses five simulation stations to assess basic laparoscopic surgery skills and is a reliable and valid curriculum which has been shown to improve intraoperative trainee performance. It was developed in 2004 and since 2009 has been a requirement to qualify for the American Board of Surgery Board Certification. In 2018, the American Board of Obstetrics and Gynecology announced that FLS will be a prerequisite for specialty board certification for residents graduating after May 2020. It states that it will ensure diplomats possess critical skills for the contemporary practice of obstetrics and gynecology. The objective of this video is to demonstrate techniques to improve technical skills during the FLS exam and to familiarize all gynecologic trainees with the FLS tasks. We will provide specific strategies for residents to gain confidence during the pegboard, circle cut, and ligating loop tasks. For the peg transfer, you will need two Maryland graspers. A penalty will be assessed for an object dropped out of view. For this setup, you are allowed to arrange all triangles on the pegs in the same orientation. As you can see here, the tips of the triangles are at the tip of the peg. The curve of the Maryland's is now downwards in the same orientation as the edges of the triangles. In this next demonstration, you'll notice that you want to elevate the triangles straight upwards rather than towards you to avoid getting caught on the peg. The next tip is to be sure that you don't drift during the transfer perform the transfer directly above the peg. You should also follow a clockwise pattern between sets of pegs so each transfer is the same distance. In order to save time, maintain your grasp on the last peg when placing and picking it back up. Lastly, be sure to use the rotational function of the Maryland to your advantage to pick up triangles that may have landed in odd orientations. For precision cutting, you will need a Maryland grasper and scissors. Place the gauze in the clip so that the folded edge is closest to you. Tighten the alligator clip so that the gauze is suspended and taut. You will be assessed a penalty for cuts deviating from the line, whether inside or outside. Through this whole exercise, it is important to use the grasper to maintain traction on the edge of the gauze to optimize the angle for cutting and to make cutting easier. First, you'll want to provide perpendicular tension to the direction of the scissors and cut both layers of gauze from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Flipping your scissors can help you stay close to the line. Next, you're going to nudge the circle with your scissors to grasp only the top layer of gauze with your left hand. You're going to cross your hands and deviate the circle to the right, then continue cutting from 9 o'clock till about 11 o'clock. Next, you're going to turn your attention back to the 5 o'clock position and elevate the cut circle to visualize the line through the back of the gauze. You can then cut downwards along the line counterclockwise from 5 o'clock to 2 o'clock. You can then flip back to the normal orientation to finish cutting the circle. For the ligating loop task, we actually recommend using a ratcheting grasper instead of a Maryland. In addition, you'll need laparoscopic scissors. Make sure to leave plenty of the organ visible in the clip. 
and you will assess a penalty for any deviation from the mark or an unsecured knot. First, place your grasper through the loop and ratchet down on the distal end of the appendage, as shown here. Next, you can lean a grasper against the clip to free up a hand. Use your two hands to break the top of the plastic pusher and manipulate the knot to the mark. You can rest the appendage back in the normal orientation if that is easier. I like to push the knot down a majority of the way, then rest the appendage back down and manipulate the knot to the mark. This example shows how to manipulate the knot down without resting the grasper on the clip. The last step is to cut both strings at once. In conclusion, FLS is now a requirement for all OBGYN residencies. Mastering the skills requires time and effort on the part of the residents, but using these pro tips can help gain confidence and improve efficiency.